Okay, buddy. Let's let's have you eat something. Citronella? I don't even know what that is. Greetings to you all. My name is Andy, and welcome back to Lone Survivor, the director's cut for the Wii U. In our previous episode, we befriended a cat. We got a, we got some food supplies. And we also met Hank, who is slowly but surely turning into one of those thin men. First things first. The cat. We're going to deal with you first. Actually, we're going to deal with you second. What I want to do first is go back to the grocery store and see if I can get any better food. I really don't want to have to depend on the pills. If you eat a green pill, then... Man who wears a box will give you food. I really want to avoid doing that if I can. So let's check what's in the box. Let's check what's in the box. Let's check what's in the box. There's some food in here. Some cheese crackers. Interesting. Is that all? Classy. That is some weird music I hear. Okay, so we've got a bit of a sequence of tasks that we're going to have to do. First thing we're going to do is check on the director. All the cat comics that we found in our last episode, we can exchange them for cat food, which in turn we give to the cat. So yeah, as you might have gathered, this is a fairly short game. It's one of these games where, you know, <laughs> it's not built for duration, it's built for being a fun experience that warrants multiple playthroughs, and doing this Let's Play, this will be my third playthrough of the game. I've played through it twice, gotten two different endings, I'm aiming for the better of the two that I got before, but it remains to be seen whether or not I get it. There are many different endings based on everything that you do in this, so it really adds up. So here's what I have for you. Oh, he's got something new for me. Nice. Hope you all enjoy it. Ground meat and some sliced cheese. You're too kind to me. Thanks. I don't know what to say. You're welcome. Just doing my part. Listen, I'll be straight with you. Well... You may not see me around these parts again. I'm planning my escape, see? Gonna try and bust on this out of the city. Too dangerous to take you with me. What do you mean? You think it's any safer out there? How far does the city even go? Do you know? I can't be sure of anything, son. Sure as no one can. But I can't stay here no longer. I gotta get out, or die trying. I know I said we're all in this together, but I gotta go it alone this time, kid. If I get to safety, I'll send word, don't you worry. You know, you're probably right. I'll just slow you down. Well, good luck out there. I'll keep my ear on the radio. And good luck. Thanks, son. I'll need it. I'll be seeing you. You can bet on that. Okay, first of all, director, Mr. Director, I've got some cat comics for you. I seem to have recently acquired a pet, you see. I may die with a clear conscience because I fed the cat as well as myself, but I think if worse comes to worst I would probably eat the cat. Ugh, I felt sick just saying that. How many cents of cat food do I have now? Oh, I've got two pieces of ground meat, nice, and three tins of cat food, alright. Things are looking up. Can you cook the ground meat? I mean, I think I only got it once in previous playthroughs, so I can't really remember what you do with it. 
Oh, shut up. It'll probably be the last time I see that one anyway. You know, it's funny, we can't just do like a Shaun of the Dead and just pretend we're one of them. <laughs> Alright, first things first. Hey, buddy! I think I can see that cat outside the door. Let's see if I can tempt him inside. Oh, yeah! Wow, it actually worked. Will you be my cat forever? I'll even give you a name. Meow, meow. That's good enough for me, little buddy. <laughs> you're quite the perky fellow, or you're something else. Yeah, you're something else. There's something else which describes you better. <laughs> you're such a small cat. I don't know, that cat is at least up to his waist. You're a ray of sunshine. There we go. What name describes that? Yeah, I could call him Sunny. That's the perfect name for you. Well, Sunny, I'm very pleased to meet you. My name is... Well, I'm just the guy who looks after you. That's all you need to worry about. Hey, Sunny? Meow. <laughs> yeah, you can just talk to the cat all you want. Alrighty. How are we for water? Alright, let's do some cooking. Let's see if we can cook the ground beef. Or ground meat. No, we just eat it? There's no combine option either. Um, that's kind of disappointing. Well, I think what we need to do is restock our coffee supplies. I thought for a second I was out of water there. <laughs> I was like, what? Why do I only have one bottle? You know, when it comes to the instant coffee and the espresso, we really are given more than enough. Probably would have been better if they just left more tinned food lying around. If you want to play the ESP, you just have to sit on that couch in there. Okay, so what am I doing next? Uh, yeah, I'm checking in on Hank. Yes. You stay still, buddy. Hank? Alright, I'm letting you in. Thanks. Okay, where's that health tonic? Hank? I found some medicine that might work. Do you want to try it instead of the pills? Bro, I'll try anything at this point. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Here's ten rounds. It's my way of saying thanks. I'll see if I can find some more, Hank. Hey, what would happen if I tried to give the soft toy to Hank? Um, Hank? Uh, yeah? Well, I was wondering if you wanted this cat plush. His name is Sleepy Cat. I think he's asleep right now, actually. That's often a good sign. Thanks, man. You've helped me out a lot already, but I don't know if I'm well enough to look after him yet. I understand, Hank. Maybe if you're feeling better? Yeah. How are you feeling anyway, Hank? I'm definitely feeling much better, thanks. It's a miracle. Oh yeah! Hank's on the mend! Woo! Okay, so where have I not been yet? I suppose just that big long street approaching the bottom left question mark. I think that's the only place I really haven't been yet. So I guess we're going through the arcade.
You know, your hunger must build up based on... Your hunger must build up based on how far you... Yeah, need some rest. Wait, is my guy tired? Oh, come on. We're so close to getting out of here, man. We can do this really soon, I promise. Okay, eat some stuff first. Where's that ground beef? It looks like it's... It looks like a spam tin, but let's see. I guess that was meat. I know, but it'll have to do. Alright, let's have a sleep. Oh, I could have sworn I was going to use the green pill this time. But hey, since we're on a new day, let's do our morning ritual. Noni fruit. I don't know what that is either. Cat food. Let's give to the cat. Hope this fills you up. <laughs> Meow. I'll pet him. Supposedly cats don't like that, though it probably varies. Okay, let's try this again. Take two, guys. <laughs> I'll probably make this my last waking day of this episode before finishing up. We are getting pretty close to the end. When you're outside, wandering the streets, it probably represents the last half to the last third of the game. Oh, I can hear things already. Sheesh. Alright, guess I'm heading this way. Whoops! <laughs> Gotta avoid that guy. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky! Really making, really hoping there's nothing on the other side. What's this? El Crab Shack. Okay. We've got a can of soda and a tonic. Nice. Now even though the director said that he was wandering off, he is still around, so if we want to get flares, we can. Really glad there's a mirror there too, and what is this? Fruit salad! Nice! Okay, you can't get into any of these places, so we're gonna flare up! Flame on! <laughs> running, 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 running! Whoa, he's there! Ah oh, crap, I'm out of flares too. Are you guarding anything? That looks like a can of soda. But nothing else. <laughs> I'll not risk it for now. So where am I? I'm on West Street. Okay. Uh, let's have some food. Um, ground meat. Heh. <laughs> ground meat. Is that really all you have to say? Strange. It's like this building feels out of place here. What is this? Handgun ammo and... This is our final health tonic. So far as I know, there's only five of them in the game. It doesn't seem to have anything behind it. And what have we got here? Rubble. Was this done by an explosion? It looks more like a battle took place. There is a lot of devastation here. Look at Crater. There's some something about it creeps me out. Is this the work of the survivors? Okay, so this bus here represents the question mark on the map. Seems to have crashed here. Well, I might as well take a look inside. Hmm. I think the electrics are inside that panel. Wonder if I can get it open. You need to get it open because... Hmm. Don't think it's going to open unless the electrics are working. Yep, so let's see. First of all, we need to use the crowbar to pry it open. Uh, 
Then we jig up the car battery. Oh no, we need to <laughs> we need to cut the wires first. Okay, wire cutters. So far so good. And last and least, the car battery. Alright, that got the electrics back on. Nice. Ah, it's working now. There we are. We're approaching the end here, folks. But we're not going to go to the end right away. What we're going to do is go back home. So, one last check to see if the director's got anything for us. He don't got nothing special. But he can still trade. What else do I have to trade? I don't have any more of those cat comics, do I? No? Oh, he's just talking about the ammo then. I suppose I could go and see him one last time to trade away all this ammo. In fact, that's what I will do next time. That'll be the first thing I do. Because, yeah, 10 in the gun plus 25 spare. That's probably the most I've had in a long time. <laughs> if not ever. I'm also going to go back and check on Hank, give him all the remaining health tonics I have. And I'll better feed Chuck as well. And feed Sonny the cat as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a lot to do. But next episode will definitely be the last. So... Hey, buddy. So, yeah. We're approaching the end. My name is Andy, and thanks for watching my playthrough of Lone Survivor. I'll see you guys next time.